Okay, Richard, your box arrived today, so I'm going to go ahead and get it unpackaged and have a look at your watch. So we can see how that came through in the mail. Right, the UFO or Yachtsman, I guess, is the name for this one. Okay, ooh, that is a deeply recessed crystal. Interesting. All right, so well, what do we got? Let's have a close look. Let's have a close look here. All right. So it's a running, that's always good to see. 6138-0011. Very cool, very nice UFO case. Good case lines, everything looks pretty nice. These, uh, these are just really durable, interesting movements. I like these pushers, they have these little dimples, you know, they're, they're very cool. Um, this one's from 1971, so it's an early one. Let's check for everything. It's a resist, of course. All right. Oh, Roman English wheel. That's good. We can put some power in the watch. It's nice to see that it's running. I'm going to wait a moment and not do a hard reset. Um, let's see. Let me get my... So it looks like you have a little bit of, um, somebody's done some repairs in the past. I can see that here on your, your minute hand. These, if the, if the reset of your, uh, of your, uh, sweep hand is done somewhere not, uh, close to midnight, um, it can flex a bit. And that flexure leads to a slight loss of um, paint if this strikes this somewhere in the reset process. So you can get a little a little loss here, and somebody's touched that up a bit here on the end of the hand, um, which is not a big deal. But it has been it has been uh, touched up in the past. Certainly has seen some some service. I'm not sure that crystal is correct. Uh, for this particular watch, um, it's definitely been into a number of times. You got a lot of uh, case marking uh, from tools um, that have, uh, you know, jumped off of these um, these insets here. Uh, so that's okay. We can just don't want to add to anything like that um, as we go forward. So I'm going to reset everything. See how it resets. That's nice. Everything's nice and vertical. You got in this particular one, you've got two different length hands. Your your minute recording uh, hand is longer than your hour recording hand, um, which is always interesting. Probably wasn't in the focus at that point. Um, sorry about that. Um, if you've got some water spotting on your dial, it looks like. Not sure how permanent that is, but it's certainly there and certainly something to take into account. Um, I can see just little dimples of what look like water spots on the surface of the dial. It's got a kind of a matte finish and then there are these these reflective um, dots. Okay, let's see if we can open it up without adding to the scratches. <laughs> nope. Well. We're still going to open up and not add to the scratches. So let's see how it's running. Let's add power. Usually you don't fully wind, 
a 6138, just this time we'll forego that advice. Usually let the automatic wind do the work. But I do want to see how it is running. Okay, give me one moment and we'll take a look. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> I'm in this situation where somebody sends me a great watch and all I have to do is look at it and uh, enjoy this beautiful signal. It's really, um, it's really, it's really running great. I mean, the, you know, you're losing a little time, but geez, I mean, we can always adjust that. Um, you know, a 6138 on a full wind running at 240 plus uh, with the chronograph, dif chronograph disengaged, that's that's where you want to be. This is fantastic. I mean, you've got a well-serviced watch here. This is this is really great. Now, there are some issues. Nothing, nothing to do with the movement, of course, but um, you need new seals because the seals that are in it are poor. Uh, you need uh, a glass, you know, a, a new crystal. Um, but I would leave it alone. I would wear it. Wear this watch. You know, if it if it really starts to go south, um, and this is not what I mean by going south, you're losing a little time, but honestly, uh, it's just variability in the timing and the rate. Um, you know, we can adjust this out, we can get it running well, you know, back up to uh, to spec. But, you know, this is a great watch. I can, I can spend a little time and, and get it resealed because your seals are, uh, again, not so great. But honestly, I say wear it. Enjoy it. Just when it starts to get funky, let me know. But until then, I think it's fantastic. Um, let's just take one more look. We'll, this we'll is an A movement uh, with, again, a red text, 21 joule. Uh, red lettering. Um, they may have replaced this bridge, which is the chronograph bridge, I'm pretty sure, because this is the original one for the winding uh, ball bearing assembly. Um, but you got you got lubrication in the right places. You know, you got lubrication here under your under your uh, cap jewel for your diafix. Um, it looks and runs like it's it's been serviced. Um, your uh, where are my tweezers? They are your case back seal was not the right size and therefore it actually got squished in a weird way and so this is not sealing very well. I also had a look at your um, pushers and though they do have seals, um, the seals aren't actually doing anything. I don't know if you can see this, but the seal itself is smaller than the size of the pusher and there are two of them because it didn't have the right size. So you will need seal kit uh, stuff which you can provide. I haven't looked at your crown seal, but I'm expecting to find the same. Um, and to be honest, that's about what I would do. And I would send you the watch back. So I, I think we're good to go um, without having to touch it. I think, you know, this is going to be another one of those uh, let's be honest moments and just tell you like it is. Your watch is doing great. So, um, I'll send you this, we'll have a little talk, we'll do a little work, and hopefully we'll send you back a watch with a new crystal and a new set of seals and you'll be good to go. Uh, I'm not gonna really, um, I don't really like to do much with dials and hands. I think honestly, it shows its age really well. Um, yes, things are faded and there is some darkening of the loom, but I, I don't think you wanna really uh, relume this and do anything with the dial. Uh, I think it's just great the way it is. I would leave it alone, to be honest. Um, you know, it, it matches the patina of the rest of the watch. And frankly, I think it's it's a really stunning looking example. Once you get a new crystal in here, you're gonna, you're gonna see a, a pretty big difference, I hope. Okay, well, uh, thanks so much, and um, I'll be in touch, and we'll move forward.